What's going on, Husker fans? Four hours Lincoln. This is Ethan Vice. I am a mess today. I'm not even wearing Husker beard today. Um, long story. But anyway, so I'm wearing uh, Butler County Community College gear here. Uh, my cousin actually plays his home opener tonight. So I am uh, fixing to head out to go support him. I will do my hair, I promise. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, we played basketball games ourselves last night, which was great. We looked awesome. Men and women, both. I did not get to watch the women. I was at work at the time, so that was a little depressing. But I just saw a few notes that I can go over on that. Uh, I did catch the first half of that game, though, so... And I thought we looked pretty good from the first half I saw, uh, which was awesome. Uh, soccer also got a bid into the NCAA tournament like we all knew they would. And they get to host uh, none other than South Dakota State. Uh, so we get to play them twice this year. The first game was an uh, exhibition game, which we won 2-1. to one. So, without further ado, let's talk about the women's basketball game. Uh, we shot 42.6% on field goals uh, on the percentage-wise. Uh, Three-point field goal percent, we shot 31.25. And I apologize about my voice. I <clears throat> The weather's changing, uh, so it kind of messes with me a little bit so nothing crazy just uh you know seasons change and everybody gets a little something and i just happen to get a raspy voice so bear with that um let's see free throw percent shooting we shot 84.8 percent which was which is amazing uh, i think it was way lower than that last year. I know it's just one game, but still shooting 84% wearing a Husker uniform. That's pretty damn good. Uh, total rebounds. Uh, Northwestern had 33. We had uh, 51 of them. Uh, turnovers. We had 14 turnovers uh, to Northwestern State's 21. Uh, steals. We had 12. They had 5. So overall solid performance. Uh, looked like we jumped to a 16 to nothing lead um, early on in the game. Uh, of course, Alexa Markowski, Annika Stewart, uh, they both had shot 13 points, uh, combining for 15 rebounds. Um, as a team, we hit 42.6% of its shots from the field, uh, including 10 of 32, uh, three-pointers. And uh, it, according to this, it says we lived at the free throw line, connecting on 28 of, 20, of 33 free throws, which was my 84% that I mentioned earlier. So... Just a few keynotes. Uh, we improved 47 to 3 all time in season opening home games, including uh, 10, 0, 1, 10 and 1 at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Uh, we had a crowd of six, or 7,065, second largest opening day crowd uh, in school history, um, trailing only the 9,750 fans in attendance for the opening of Pinnacle Bank Arena against UCLA, which was in 2013. Um, let's see, Nebraska's starting five against Northwestern State included first-time Husker starters Darian White uh, and Natalie Potts, while Kendall Mor Moriarty made the second start of her career. And... We are 2-0 all-time against Northwestern State. Uh, so, looked like a pretty good overall game. Uh, let's move on to men's basketball, uh, which we played Lindenwood for the first time ever. Lindenwood uh, became a D1 school last year. Uh, so, they 
uh, are still a baby in, here in the D1 ranks. Um, so our field goal percent uh, shooting was 48.2. I would like to see that go up, obviously, but uh, well, what do you know? <laughs> uh, Three-point field goal percent shooting it was really low, uh, 36%. Although we, it seems like when we get on a roll, we're on a roll. And how about Josiah Alec? I was really happy to watch him play last. He he looked phenomenal. I I'm really excited for him. And I, uh, unfortunately, KC haven't hasn't played last night, which is fine. I. If there's a game for him to sit, I would like it to be this one. But I think Josiah Alec and KC together is going to be phenomenal. I mean, along with C.J. Wilcher and uh, Sam Hoiberg, I mean, it, it, it's going to be a phenomenal group. I really do believe that. Um, let's see. Sam Hoiberg's 15 points led five Huskers in double figures as the uh, – we opened up the 2023-2024 season. Um, let's see. Uh, we showed a balanced attack with five players in double figures and 10 cracking the scoring column as the Huskers took control early with a dominant offensive performance. Uh, and Hoyberg shot a career high of 15 points. Uh Rink Mass with 13, Bryce Williams with 13, C.J. Wiltshire with 13, Josiah Alec with 11. I thought he shot more than that, but uh, nonetheless, pretty awesome. Uh, so, yeah, we had, what was it? Five guys with double figures. Uh, I That's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Um, and uh, how about... Uh, um, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, that bean guy from Lindenwood. I, I, I don't know. The crowd seemed to be really enthused about Bean. I can't remember his first name, but uh, whenever he'd come out, you know, the crowd would yell, Bean, you know. Uh, I don't know the significance of that, but uh, I, I just found that to be interesting. Um, Let's see. Let's uh, Nebraska's eighty-four points is the most uh, si since scoring eighty-eight against Boston College uh, in November of last year. Um, three of the Huskers' five double-figure efforts were by players making their Nebraska debut, including Rink Mass, Bryce Williams, and Josiah uh, Alec, and all the. Uh, in all, 47 of uh, Nebraska's 84 points were by newcomers. Um, and Rick Mast, uh, he was wearing his face guard, but I didn't know it was so serious he broke his nose. Like, the guy must hate America now, you know? <laughs> like, after a senseless attack I, on him, you know, I thought that was crazy. Uh, but I do hope he recovers well, you know, that... That to me was just sounded like a senseless act of whatever by I, I don't know. First you get Lindsey Krause getting rear ended in traffic and then you get Rink Mask getting his ass kicked. Like, what the hell? What's everybody got against uh, all our Husker athletes, you know? It it makes no damn sense to me. But nonetheless, you know, I do hope Lindsey Krause Hills or whatever, I, man, it like it just sucks not seeing her out there because she she's been the heart, one of the heart and souls of the the volleyball team. But uh, and then Rick Mast, you know, uh, poor guy had to wear that face guard. I don't know how you can see out of that thing, to be honest. But you know, uh, hopefully they recover well. Um, Let's see, we finished with 19 assists and just nine turnovers on the night. Uh, Nebraska had 13 assists on its 17 first half basket. Uh, finished with 11 three-pointers on the night. The Huskers had just three games with 
10 plus three pointers in 2022 and 2023. So I did not know that. So uh, maybe we're on pace to break that. Um, and and three-point shooting did seem a lot better this year. And another note, uh, it looked like we chased a ball this time around. I remember last year we would shoot and not chase our shot. And it drove me banana sandwich. Uh, like, <laughs> we would shoot and then we'd just sit there and watch the ball bounce off the rim. Didn't chase or nothing. But last night it's, uh, excuse me, last night it seemed a lot better uh, chasing the ball. So... Great job by our men last night. Uh, I know it's just game one. You know, I'm not calling any crazy shots here, but uh, obviously on pace for my prediction this year. So uh, great job by them. I think, I mean, KU beat their opponent by not much more. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, moving on, uh, th that's what happened last night. Uh, get a break today and then volleyball tomorrow so let's talk about the volleyball game against Northwestern a little bit um this week Merritt Beeson was named Big Ten Player of the Week on Monday while Bergen Riley was named Big Ten Setter of the Week that's four times by both ladies that they were recognized in their all Big Ten efforts so that uh, incredible job and rightfully so uh I've been Merritt Beeson's been going off lately. Uh, definitely filling the void from Liz Lindsey Krause's absence. I mean, they're all doing their part. Becca Alex stepped up in a big way. I mean, they're all doing a fine job. Allie Batenhorst even been doing a fine job. Uh, I mean, of course, she's talented. She could start anywhere, and and she happens to not be our so dynamic player, which they're all dynamic, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's see, we're off to the best start since the 06 season with a 23-0 record. In 08, we started up out at 28-0, so hopefully we can get there. I think we, I can't remember when we got Wisconsin, is it the, uh, next week, I think? Um, but yeah, it, which, you know, that, that's one game I, that's the one game left on the schedule I don't feel good about. Penn State, though, I mean, that one surprised me, yeah, but, uh, yeah, Wisconsin, if we can come out of there with a win, holy smokes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine. Um, let's see, uh. Offensively this season so far, uh, been hitting .288. Uh, we're ranked 10th nationally and second in the Big Ten. We lead all Big Ten teams and ranked 10th national, nationally with 14.9 kills per set. Um, yeah, Lexi Rodriguez, uh, we she paces the Husker defense with 3.56 digs per set. That's almost unreal. Um, Merritt Beeson, uh, she 3.88 kills per set and adds 1.99 digs per set. So she she puts in work herself. I mean, it this team beyond incredible. The one knock on this team, if if I should say, is the serving, of course. But I think even that's getting better. It's improving a little bit. And, of course, at Penn State, you're going to have your rough patches. I mean, we actually had those rough patches against, um, oh, who the hell did we play last week? That wasn't really that good. Rutgers. You know, like we, we were, I don't know. It, to me, it's the equivalent of like a football fumble, you know. There's fumbleitis and then there's uh, servicitis, <laughs> you know. But I don't know. It seems like at the right time we clean that up, though. Um, what else can I say? Uh, so, yeah, we swept Northwestern er earlier this year. Um, and I 
don't think it'll be different this time around, especially playing at home. Um, let's see. They are coming off of pair of losses from last week. They fell three, uh, They got swept by Illinois and dropped a 3-1 match against Minnesota. Uh, Julia Sangiacomo leads the Wildcats with 3.92 kills per set. Leilani Dodson adds 2.13 kills per set. Uh, the, their libero, Ellie Stinson, she ranks third in the Big Ten with 4.29 digs per set. Uh, and the, they are hitting .226 on the season and allowing opponents to hit .223. Um, and an interesting note, we're 19-1 and all-time against Northwestern. Um so that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it make it makes sense. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, it was last October. It was in October of eighteen, October eighteenth in Evanston when we uh, swept them this earlier this year. We hit a season high of point three nine five in that match, and of course Merritt Beeson had thirteen kills in that game. So. Uh, we got that to look forward to. Uh, and then in the soccer news, uh, we earned a number five seed in the NCAA tournament when, uh, of course, with the 64 teams in it. Uh, as I mentioned, we'll host South Dakota State on Friday at 7.05 p.m. So I don't have to work during that time. So that's always a plus. It seems like when we're in these tournaments and stuff, I always have to work. But not this time. Um, and we will face either Tennessee or Xavier in the second round uh, if we win this game, which I think we will. Um, this year marks the 13th NCAA tournament appearance in program history and first since 2016. So it's been a minute since we've been in it. Uh, we made it to the Sweet 16 on eight occasions and twice advanced to the Elite Eight. Um, we hold a 17-12 record all-time in the NCAA tournament. So we're not necessarily an annual team, but it seems like when we're in the NCAA tournament, we do make a pretty decent run. So hopefully this year is no different. We make a run and keep the season alive. Um, let's see. Of course, uh, you all know we won the... Uh, Big Ten regular season this year. Uh, we did fall against Wisconsin uh, during that semifinal match, which was very disappointing. I just don't think we were all there. I, I think, I honestly think we were just looking ahead of time, looking ahead of the NCAA tournament and just was not in that game. Uh, which is disappointing, but, you know, maybe we can learn from it and, uh, kick some ass in this tournament. Um, let's see, the second round, third round, and quarterfinals will each be held at campus uh, sides leading up to the Women's College Cup semifinals, which is on December 1st, and national championship game will be on December 4th, both of which will be played at Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. Um, so with that, guys, that's going to do it. Um, if you like the show, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, you know, I talk everything Huskers all, uh, and I try to keep, a uh, <clears throat> accurate account of week by week, you know, um, I'm starting to do more daily, but, uh, I try to keep up with everything that I can with, uh, with Husker Athletics. Uh, whether I'm sick or, you know, in a hurry or whatever. Um, but with that, guys, uh, I do hope you all have a great night. I will be back. Uh, I'm going to try to make it Thursday. Um, so as long as you're subscribed to me, uh, it should pop up when I have a new show coming up. <clears throat> with that, guys, I got to save my throat. I got to cheer my cousin on at his basketball game. So be excellent to each other. Go Big Red.